Hey, Zoom. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just getting settled in in front of the camera. Lights, camera, Jesus, Holy Spirit, have your way. Hallelujah. And you know this, man. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just reading, man. God's using my voice. He gives me these beautiful messages, you know, um, all Holy Spirit inspired. You know, I, I bring the, put the flesh, move Daryl aside, get the flesh out of the way and let the Spirit walk in the Spirit, speak in the Spirit. And just let him flow, because he knows what direction this message needs to go. He knows what needs to be said. Hallelujah. All right, guys, I hope you're all having a beautiful day out there. Um, I salute all my soldiers of God out there. Well, not my soldiers, the Lord's soldiers and his army. Hallelujah. I'm just happy to be in the good fight of faith with y'all and uh, making this world a brighter and better place. Hallelujah. Lights, camera, Jesus. And here we go, guys. Coming out of the book of uh, Psalm, chapter, ver uh, chapter 42. Um, verses uh, 1 through 11 and I'm going to go ahead and um, read that here let me get back to my page the wind blew in the window blew my page open uh, it's pretty windy here uh, and it's um, blew my pages back but here we go guys we're going to get into this right now and it's chapter 42 of Psalm yearning for God in the midst of distress which David did throughout the book of Psalm which was pr primarily written by David who was on the run from King Saul who was um, uh, David was uh, Saul's like mightiest soldier because he had God on his side and he would slay the enemy for King Saul in the kingdom there and Saul got very jealous and um, was taking away all the attention from him so he went after David just like they went after Jesus you know just for being a good guy man you know and the jealousy of Lucifer the hatred of Lucifer was in his hearts it wasn't a skin condition it's never a skin condition racism doesn't doesn't exist but hatred does since uh, Cain killed Abel the first murder and you you know in all of mankind human creation but then all the way down to David poor David fighting for the kingdom of uh, you know King Saul was uh, like the president the king back then was the president and doing such a fantastic job keeping the weak and the innocent safe and Saul gets mad at him and wants to kill him. So while he was on the run, David and people in David's circle wrote the book of Psalm. All oh, Holy Spirit inspired their friendship, their relationship, their poems, their songs, their praise, their cries for help. All right here in the book of Psalm to God Almighty. Yearning for God in the midst of distress is the title heading into of uh, Psalm 42. And we're going to go ahead and get into this right now. Praise the Lord. And it's called Honest Emotions. And that's what David taught me was about... Um, when a life from hell came against me, I never cussed God out when I was secular, but I let God have it that day. Like, why, you know, you know, wah, 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 wah. I won't even say the words, man. <laughs> I was angry. I was being a good person, a good dad, everything. And boom, man, this life from hell came against me, and I let God have it. But David taught me to be honest with what's in your heart. Be honest with God. Speak every thought and feeling and emotion to God give it all to him and he can help you with all of that stuff but if you leave anything behind you got God wondering wondering excuse me wondering why isn't he telling me everything so let it fly good bad the ugly he wants to hear it because he wants your honesty hallelujah so yearning for God in the midst of distresses that's the title heading into chapter 42 of Psalm. And today's devotional is Honest Emotions. Just keep it real with God, man, and He'll keep it real with you. Praise the Lord. Now, verse 1 says, 1 through 11 of Psalm 42. Here we go. Holy Spirit, get me out of the way. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Woo. As a deer pants for water, for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night. Wow. My tears, number three says, My tears have been my food day and night. Wow. While they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within, for I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Now, verse 5 says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for, shall I, for, for I shall yet praise Him for the help of His contentance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan, and from the heights of Hermon, from the hill of Mazar. Keep call, uh, deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. 
all your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in daytime and in the night. His song shall be with me. A prayer to God of my life. Number nine says, hallelujah, this is beautiful. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Just what I went through, man. I was crying out for God. And in the rough sea, you know, um, you know, in, in, a, in a rough stream or, you know, uh, where the water is flowing, man, that rock, you know, you can grab onto it and keep from getting pushed down, down the rest of the river, man. It's rough, right? Praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. A lot of emotions flying through me right there after what I've been through. A lie from hell came against me. And here's David, you know, um, just being, you know, just hated, hated for being a good person by this world that accuses <clears throat> and shows hatred to those um, that, that aren't like them. The world loves their own. Number 10 says, as, the breaking, as, as with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reapproach me while they say to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for shall I yet praise him, the help of my contentance and my God. Hallelujah, guys. That is very powerful. Verse 11 says, Why have you forgotten me? The psalmist asks these, quest these troubling questions in faith, for he remembers that God is his rock, his protector and foundation. He cannot help but hope in him in the middle of difficult circumstances, just like I had faith, I hoped in God, you know, and I trusted in his plan for my life. And so did David. The whole time he was on the run from King Saul, who was trying to kill him because of the jealousy and hatred of his heart, you know, people came against me with the hatred and jealousy upon, you know, and accused me of what they were guilty of. But their hatred, man, it was just crazy what I went through. I can't imagine what David went through. But here in the study note, we cannot, um, we cannot help but hope in the middle of our circumstances because we know we were set in those circumstances. I know now that God allowed this lie from hell come against me. And when it did, he used it for good. And it was all part of the plan he wrote out for my life. It was like my cross, you know. Jesus had his story written out, going to the cross, getting beaten, died, you know, and tortured. We have to go through suffering here for other people to benefit through our suffering. And through the whole time, though, here, David, we're going to go back to verse 5. He says, why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for yet I yet praise him for the help of his contentance, guys. Praise the Lord. And it says here in, in the study note as well, um, for five, verse 5, Why are you cast down? These words are repeated. The psalmist reminds himself that one day he will experience a, a new in the presence of God. Paradise, guys, when we go to heaven at the end. His hope is in the Lord, will not be misled. Praise him is a common in the psalm. The poet is not describing the act of private devotion but the public praise of goodness of God this praise is in the words of the song that would be repeated in the midst of the congregation guys I'm always praising God because when we praise him in the middle of the storm now our attention and focus is on him and not the storm in the darkness but on him who can bring light into the situation and give us victory um, God will not give you bring you to something not to bring you through it he has placed these difficult times in your path, and then when evil comes against you, he will always use it for good, but trust in him through the process that he places you right here, right here where you need to be. Praise God. And he is with you in his very presence, guys. Excuse me, I need a drink of water, but we're going to keep pushing through. Holy Spirit, lead the way. Hallelujah. Help me out. And we would know wherever you find yourself today, no matter how dark and scary it seems, just know God is in your very presence presence and you just have to be honest with him and tell him your true emotions in that very moment that's faith that's believing you pray you receive the victory guys okay just know god wants your very true emotions hallelujah now it's sent in by jennifer Burgandy of ontario canada hallelujah it says there are times when i wake up discouraged there is no particular reason for me to feel this way but nothing um, nothing less, the feeling is overwhelming there. I'm going to stop right there and hold up. This is simply an attack by the enemy. Whether you're sleeping, he'll attack your mind with bad dreams, thoughts, or whatever. Same as when you're awake. He attacks you with bad thoughts of uh, hopelessness and uh, regret and um, fear and anxiety and this and that. It's of the enemy. It's not from God. I, I struggle to find motivation and purpose. 
That's the whole key behind him trying to do that, to distract you from your purpose and God, who's laid out a perfect purpose and plan for your life. Now, as a result, I become angry with myself. Exactly what Satan wants you to do. I think I should be thankful. God has blessed me with so much. And real quickly, like in the psalm here, um, when they found the, he found himself in a bad spot, what did he do? He didn't lose trust. He didn't lose hope in God. He trusted in God and had hope. We don't lose trust in God. Then we feel hopeless. So when these feelings come upon you and the situ uh, situations, lie from hell, situations come at you, just know you're meant to be there. Trust in God's plan for your life and know he's there in the midst of that trial and tribulation. Call on him. Hallelujah. God has blessed me with so much. I berate myself and try to fix the way I feel. We cannot do it. Only God can provide peace and comfort and strength and encouragement to, do, to push on and get the victory. When that doesn't work, I feel ashamed and I have, I have a comfortable life, but I still feel sad. Again, Satan trying to get you to focus on unimportant people, places, and things to distract you from the blessings of God with all these negative thoughts of regrets from past or today or the, um, tomorrow's coming, it's going to be a bad day, etc., etc. It's Satan attacking your mind to cripple your body and the distraction to take you off of God. Just like Peter, when he stepped out of the boat to walk to Jesus in the midst of the storm, that storm represented what we're going through today, a rough, rough, rough sea of life. And if we're distracted by the wind, the lightning, the waves, we're going to sink like Peter did. Focus on God, Jesus Christ, and what happened? He pulled them up out of the deep waters, and God will pull you up out of the deep waters as well. Hallelujah. Now, I feel ashamed that I am comfortable, but I still feel sad. Psalm 42 reminds me that many people in the Bible also felt discouraged. Many, many of them did, guys. As the verse 5 demonstrates, sometimes um, they need to feel, they, they see, they, I'm sorry guys, they, um, in, in verse 5 here it says, uh, you know, about why my soul are you cast down? Why do you disturb, why are you disturbed within me? See, we don't know the answers, but we know today because it's Satan attacking you. Put your hope in God and I will, and I will yet praise him, my Savior, my God. So the psalm teaches here in verse 5, right? But no matter the cause, let's see here, help me out Holy Spirit, I apologize guys. As the verse 5 demonstrates, sometimes that they too felt disheartened from, for no apparent reason. This psalm teaches me that in the human, in human to, it is human to feel discouraged sometimes. But no matter the cause, which is always of Lucifer guys, we cannot be honest with God about our emotions. Or we can be honest with God with all our emotions, guys, okay? Just know that. He loves us. He wants to hear the truth and honesty from us, guys, okay? And just know He wants to hear every single detail of your life, every emotion, every feeling, just like a good parent would or guardian to their child. He's the same way. He's a good, good father, and we're loved by Him. Tell Him everything and what you want to happen in your life, but let Him know how you're feeling so He can come in and fix it. Hallelujah. Our Creator just wants us to be honest. Praise God. The Almighty hears our cries and is ready to comfort us when we faithfully open our hearts fully to Him. Praise the Lord, guys. Just know that, that God is waiting for you and He will be there to hear your cries for help. Just like any good parent or guardian would, would want and, and would do. Just like I spoke earlier. Dear Lord God, we cry out to you in our discouragement. You are our help. You are our peace. You are our comfort. You are our source of hope. Mm, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord, for always being there, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thought for today, guys. When you feel discouraged, we will run to God because He is there waiting for you and waiting for you to cry out so He can come in and give, give you the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y victory in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, man, I need a drink of water, but I wanted to fight through that. And uh, we're going to get some water now. But, guys, you keep fighting on. And remember... God is waiting for you. Be honest with guys with all your um, honest with God with all your emotions. Peace be with you. I love you. Hallelujah. Woo.